Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to ENGR 1330 Laboratory Zero. In this laboratory, uh, you are setting up your computing environment. And this short video is going to demonstrate exercise one. Essentially do it uh, on the video. So let's see what we're told to do. We're told to select one of the online compilers below. Either one will do. I'm going to choose the first one at programis.com because it's got a side-by-side -side interface. It's a little bit easier um, to understand what's going on. It looks like I actually already have it live, but let's go ahead and take the link. So we go ahead and take the link and there we are. And if we choose run, it runs and over here on the right side is a uh, equivalent of an output shell and it says hello world. So that in and of itself isn't terribly interesting, but technically we've just run our first Python program if you've never done it before. And the next thing says, um, so the compilers automatically provide hello world, run it, verify output, and so we've done that. And now it says, make the following changes. Find the part that looks like print hello world and replace it so it looks like print we're going to build a dog part. So let me see if I can capture that. So I'm choosing copy. Um, there we go. I'll go back to the online Python compiler and I think if I put it right there, hit paste, a few too many quotes. Oh, it's got automatic completion. As you get familiar with it, you'll at times find that very annoying. Okay, so we've made the change. And now when we run it again, it prints, we're going to build a dog park. And uh, that uh, completes running the modified script. Now part D is save it as a PNG file. Um, I will do that for the latter part of the lab. Um, that's given as optional because it depends on um, your toolkit. If you have a uh, Windows 10, um, I think it was control or all print screen I think captures the active window. Um, this is a Macintosh I'm using right now so I have to use their app provided screen capturing stuff which is uh, it doesn't seem hard until you start doing a lot. So let me choose capture, save it to documents Go to my documents window, get the screenshot, and I need to give this a name. Um, oh, online Python. O N and we're done. Okay, so that concludes this first part. The reason we save that PNG file is down here at the uh, bottom, the last exercise is to embed it into uh, a markdown cell so that we can see um, the picture. 